Hello everybody, this is me, Super Mario King Jayu, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. In the last episode, we went through Worlds 5 and 6, and today we are going to be going through World 7, and only World 7 because World 8, <laughs> let me tell you, it is probably the, it's pretty much the, like, the most difficult levels in the, in the game, because, you know, it's, it's the end, obviously, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, as much as I am familiar with this game, World A can sometimes kick my ass, so yeah, I'm gonna say that for another episode. So yeah, so this is why this episode is only gonna focus on World Seven. Um, but yeah, but without any further ado, let, let's continue on. Um, now, before I actually continue on, I do remember I have to say this. Um, you may notice that my skull and my lives might be different. Um, that's because in the last episode, I accidentally. <laughs> Uh, after I finished the last episode, I accidentally exited out of the game without s creating a save point. So yeah, so I had to go through the whole game <laughs> again, or at least World 6, no, World 5 and 6, uh, just to get back here. So yeah, you know, my story is obviously going to be different than last episode, so yeah. Well, I don't think you guys can hear that. Oh, oh, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cheat just a little bit. That, that should be good. Anyway, so this is World 7. And there you have yourself a fire fountain. I'm not too sure how you get up there just because it's... It's so difficult. You may need to have like a running stop. Yeah, I, I just can't get it. So, we're just gonna move on. Oh. You're going to be dealing with a lot of bullet bills. <laughs> and trust me, this won't be the last time you see them. Oh, I can't believe I, I dodged that. I was so lucky. Up, and then up ahead you have two hammer balls to just knock them out with the... Um... With the... If you have a fireball, then a firefowl. And you can obviously... Use it to protect yourself with it. But if you don't have fire flower, you just gonna have to hit them uh, when they're on top of the bricks. So, so this will take take you to the end of the level. Um, I'll have to remember this exact position because well, actually, uh, I'm gonna move forward just a little bit. Oh, so, yeah, so you got two more hammer balls right there. Uh, but I am gonna go back just so that we can get to the whole level. Uh, let's see. We have some more. Okay, so we're back to where that wall pipe uh, bought us. So yeah. Uh, what do we have up here? Oh, okay. We have another power. Awesome. Oh, gotta watch out for the buzzy beetles. <laughs> uh, okay, and that is the end for Water Seven One. Next up is 7-2, which is a underwater level, so we don't really have to worry about, we don't have to worry too much about that when it comes to secrets, so yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this underwater level is just the same as all the other underwater levels, just probably different enemy placements, I think. Don't, don't, don't hold me to it. Oh, oh, that was close. Yeah, I think it just has more, most bloopers or squids. I want to call it that. Um, and once again, those those are pits with the uh, coins. Oh, it's so stupid! I got caught up by them. Uh, okay, so keep moving on. But in, like I say, those pits that have coins at underneath, uh, at the bottom, uh, be careful because, you know, you don't have to keep matching the A button to stay alive because they're pretty much like sinkholes and they are going to sink you in. <laughs> so always be careful. Oh, this stupid... Oh, I... I died? Oh, come on, that's dumb.
Anyways, it doesn't matter because, you know, I have nine, nine lives, so we're just going to keep on pressing fold. At this point, I'm not even going to bother with the coins. Okay, besides these. Um, come on, <laughs> get through there. That is the end of World 7 Dash 2. Um, if you have a fire fell, obviously just kill all the enemies on site. Um, that way you can get through the end a lot safer. And so here we have the 7 Dash 3 and it's pretty much the almost the exact same level as a previous level from a couple of worlds back. <laughs> uh, with the fine cheap cheeps and the bridges. Oh, I, I die? Oh my god. Now, now, that's what I mean when I when I say in, in the last few episodes, or the last time I, I ran through this course, um, these enemies, the, or these cheap cheeps are RNG, so they could spawn right underneath you, just like that, and they could pretty much kill you. Um, but right here we have a mushroom or a power block. Get that, because you're going to need it. Uh, but what's going to lie up ahead? <laughs> I don't want to... Look at that, that's stupid. You know what, no. I want to go into the... I, I want to go into War 7 4 with the mushroom or with the power up. I want to. So yeah, so I'm... I, oh, I think I just... I think I just screwed myself over. Come on. Please tell me the mushroom's back here. Oh, that's... Oh, that's stupid. I can't believe that. Well, I'm gonna be going to 7 4 with no power. So, yeah, that's going to suck really bad. I can't believe that. <laughs> Here we have 7 4. Now, this is going to be another maze level. Um, so, the way to do this is you, go, you take the bottom path, you go up here, you do that, and then you take the top path, go to the bottom. At this point, you want to jump onto the second platform, and then when you get to here, jump on the third platform. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be at... Oh, I just died. It's a Bowser's frames. Uh, but yeah, but that's going to take you to the end of the level, aka Bowser. I'm um, just to do it again on the time, just because I died. Uh, take this bottom path, take the second platform, and then go jump at the top. Take the top platform. Go to the top hat, go to the bottom, go to the middle, go to the top, and uh, yeah, easy peasy. Now, I'm going to be a little bit scared because, oh, I almost died just there. Uh, oh, you got a hammer, <laughs> dude. Oh, this is going to suck real bad. Oh, I did it. I did it. Holy crap. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> oh, that was clutch. That was super, super clutch. Um, hmm, I don't know if I should. You know what? Whatever. We're gonna be going through Ward Eight, that Ward 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 Eight too, just to keep this episode long going. Uh, oh, I can't we, I can't believe I just forgot about that. To go through all, to, to, to go through the level itself. I'm, I'm speed running it, you know? Here we have a wall pipe in which you can take it to get some coins. Now I say this because Ward 8 doesn't really have that many power ups, so you are going to be on your own for the majority of these levels. So yeah, you're going to need to learn how to. Okay, so there we have a star. 
I'm, I'm gonna go back so that way we can we can go through the entire level. Uh, yeah. Don't put. Don't put. Wait. I did no. That was the same one I just took. I don't want to take that one again. Uh, go back. Yeah, some Koopa Troopas. Just easily get out of the way. Um, and we should be. There should be a, an invisible block here. Yep. Maybe some coins. You don't have to need it because World A can, can be a pain in the butt. I can tell you that right now. And then we have the star, just like we uh, a few minutes, a, a few seconds ago. We take this and you just speed and just go as fast as you can through the level. Destroy as many enemies as you can. The end of World 8 1. Neat. <laughs> okay. So, 8 2, you have this guy to at the top. Now, I would say kill him at the beginning just because it makes it like easier. Um, up. On that little block that I just hit, um, is going to be a mushroom, so just, uh, when you're on the screen, press A at the right time, so like right now, oh, oops, <laughs> right now, come on, there we go, and then yeah, just follow the one-up mushroom, and you always want to make sure that the, the one-up mushroom is, is on screen, because if it goes off screen, it's probably going to be gone for good. Here we have some bullet bills and a paratrooper. Now in this block we have a mushroom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get up there. Okay, there we go. Now this one you really don't want to lose your pops. And like that. I just lost it. That's stupid. You know what? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die just for fun. There we go. Go back here, I'm gonna get that one up again. You know, basically just get your life back. Oh no! Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna care too much about the coin. And yeah, so just, we're just gonna be really careful. Just gonna be really careful. Get the one up mushroom. That was close. That was super, super close. Okay, I'm not gonna. Oh my god! <laughs> and I just lost it again. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm. I'm gonna get through this with the power, up, man. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. Okay, just be real careful. Oh, this is really tricky. I'm telling you guys, what eight is difficult to say the least. <laughs> okay. That will probably doesn't need to aim right now. At this point, um, you always want to be really careful, you know. You always want to get a running start. So there you go. Uh, okay. Here we have a wall pipe and we can get yourself some coins. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it this to you guys again is I I've done it multiple times in this series. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take you to here in which um I'll I'll remember that the next time we meet we get to that same place again. Um Okay, okay. oh so I just take this to here. This is where we will after that wall pipe. Okay. Oh okay be really careful, just be really careful.
And with that is the end of World 8-2 or Level 8-2, I should say. Next up here we have this 8-3. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this one, you also want to be very careful because coming up, we are going to be facing with more hammer bottles. Yay. So just easily knock them when they're on top of the blocks. Um, you don't want, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. You know, it, you know, it's also stuff like that that's RNG, you know, you don't, you can't really project the hammer bullets too much. Um, but yeah, so you want to hit that second to last block and you get yourself a power up, either a mushroom or a fire flower. I just got myself a fire flower, so I am super happy with that. I'm not trying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to die. You gotta be kidding me, really, really. Like that, you know? <laughs> oh man. There we go. Mushroom. Kill that bullet bill, and they're at the top and at the bottom again. Now, now there should be another power block right there. So, yep, got myself the fire flower, but there's also going to be the mushroom in there. So, oh my god. Okay, that will pipe goes to nowhere. So just remember. Now, on this path, you're going to be dealing with hammer bullets on the ground. Um, that Koopa Trooper that you just saw, if you don't have a power, you you want to take that Koopa Trooper and kick it to the right, so that way you can kill the hammer bullets, but if you have a fire flower, you can easily take them out with your fireballs, or I should, to make them more cute, just take them out with your fireballs and you'll be good to go. Um, was that another hammer ball? Yeah, it was another hammer ball, but just for the sake of it. Go back and show it to you guys right there. There was another one. And right there you have a coin block which you can get more coins. It's pretty much disguised <laughs> with the background. So that's funny. And I just realized I'm losing time. So uh, yeah. And next up here we have is World 8-4, the final level. Um Yeah, <laughs> so um, it's sort of like a maze, um, you just have to know your way around it, this level, so yeah. Now I would say, this, this level is going to mess you up real bad because if you take the wrong rope pipe, um, you are going to go up to back at the start of the level, so yeah, just be, be careful of that, so. Now, you want to you take this rope pipe after you take that little floating platform across the lava um, into this rope pipe because it's going to advance you onto the next I guess screen level I don't I don't know um, or, or the next part of the maze I guess so right there I just took the one rope pipe and it just ended and it just put me right back here so yeah that is what I mean when I say um, you never want to take the wrong rope pipes yeah, the back heel, uh, I'm not going to kick down on anything. Now, you want to hit this invisible block and into this wall pipe. It's going to take you to the next, I guess, part of the maze. With cheap cheeps. Now, it, this isn't really hard because all you have to do is just go into that. What was it that? What was it that? What's it? So, I guess that would be the first second third world pipe. So yeah, just take the third world pipe um, once you cross the bridge and you'll be good to go. Or we have an underwater section and you know, um, I'm pretty sure this is the same underwater section as one of the previous secret underwater sections in the game. I just don't remember which level it appeared in. Um, but yeah, just make your way across there and you'll be good to go. Now we are entering the final part of the level. We're going to be facing Bowser. 
But before we do, we have this sneaky little hammer ball right there. Now this hammer ball, I would say, it ruined a lot of my runs, because uh, if you don't kill him, you're, you're basically done. And if he takes, and if he takes away your power, you're dead. So yeah, just take him out with a fireball, and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna wait for the lava bubble to... Okay. So there we have Bowser himself, World 8-4. The, the real deal, and I just took him out with a... Uh... <laughs> with fireballs. And that's pretty much it for this... Uh, journey. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. We present you a new quest. Push B... Push button B to select a world. And uh, yeah, we saved Princess Peach, and like the game says, you know, our quest is an oval, there's a new one, but it, it's basically just a hotel version of the game, sort of, um, and um, so if, whenever I press B, you can see at the top right there, um, 2-1, 3-1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, and what happens now is at this point, all of the the Goombas become Buzzy Beetles. So yeah, there's nothing really too different going on here. Um, maybe the end of message is a little bit different, but yeah. But with that is pretty much the end of all of this episode. Now, yes, this isn't the, fi the finale guys, because in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I play this game uh, from start to finish. So yeah, with all the secrets that I know, the shortcuts, the invisible blocks and whatnot. I will be showing you guys how to take all of these secrets and tips and to put them into a perfect one run, I should say. Um, I guess another speed running tactic, I guess, <laughs> um, to, to clear this game at a much shorter time. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the finale because, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be really, really cool. To show you guys how I play, how I play this game. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And I will see you all in the next episode. This is Super Monitor J. Sending out.